talk to us more like Umar. The Prince of Pan African, Big Papa's in the house. Run my donations. I mean, shout out to Umar. I got no problem with the dude, but I think it's funny. Y'all keep coming over here asking everybody to talk like Umar. Queen Mother Garland. Coco Butter and Seamoss Gold and shit. People send me clips of some of these YouTubian opportunists, so-called life coaches, and I'm seeing some of them quote me verbatim without giving credit to their source. And some of them claim to not even like me. So why are you quoting my material and not referencing me? You obviously watch me. You obviously watch me because too much of my material is coming out of your mouth. It's a whole group. There's at least 12. I think I've counted 12 different YouTubian beta male wannabe life coaches that are out there slandering black women, attacking black women, degrading black women. I count about a dozen. I'm going to call them the dirty dozen of division. The triple D, the dirty dozen of division. There's about 12 members of the dirty dozen of division, 12 beta males YouTube life coaches who are trying to build a platform by making black women feel bad. I don't like it. I, I, I can't appreciate black men trying to make a dollar off of making black women feel bad. And unfortunately, our black women, some of them are so thirsty for validation that they're participating. They're participating in the attacks and slander against the black female community and that's not a need for male validation black women you don't need a man to validate your worth many people took that as uh, a sub a shot at uh kevin samuels uh the on the online uh advice col uh, advice giver relationship uh expert uh he of course responded in a video directly addressed to you uh, what were you trying to communicate with this i don't want to assume that you were talking about him although he certainly took it that way one were you talking about him and two, what, what were you trying to communicate there? Yes, sir. My comments were not particularly directed uh, to that gentleman. And in fact, he had made some slanderous comments towards me in a video that he had uh, put together a couple of weeks ago. I saw that video, but I did not respond to it. I make it a point when at all possible to not respond to individuals whose intellectual competence I consider to be far below my own. But the message that I put out with regard to the quote that you just read speaks to a growing trend amongst the African-American male community, Dr. Hill, that seeks to blame black women for many of the trials, tribulations, failures of black males. And I don't Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Had to come tap in real quick, man. You know, Kevin Samuels addressing in a recent Vlad TV interview. Y'all go check that out. It's on Vlad YouTube channel. Uh, the situation about with Dr. Umar and also addressing the rumors of him being gay. Now, we seen what happened with everything. He finally addressed uh, that on a big platform, but it's already pretty much been addressed. If you follow, you already know. Now, with the Dr. Umar thing, he did say, hey, I don't have an issue with Dr. Umar on Vlad. Said that, you know, he was talking. He said he's he not going to say that it was directly aimed at him, but Kevin Samuel said he was joking. When he did say what he said, it was like a little bit of a joke because people would always say, talk to us like Dr. Umar, and his name kept coming up. Because people don't like the delivery. Some people, some women, some people don't agree with the delivery and the way that Kevin Samuels gets his message across. Hey, me personally, man, I don't give a, a fucking goddamn. Like, talk your shit, man. They have a choice to watch or not. And that's what Kevin Samuels was saying. He's not forcing anybody to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Y'all consenting. Y'all choosing to join these things. Y'all putting in the donate. Whoever do donating, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, nobody's forcing you to look at the content. But you know it's the content that's striking home and hitting facts. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Samuels is speaking the real. So, with the other... And, and, uh, Dr. Umar, you know, I know you got your shit going. You got your following. But I need to know where the fucking school at, nigga. 
Where the motherfucking school at, nigga? We've been waiting for a minute, nigga. Where the fuck is the motherfucking school, man? We got kids that need to learn, nigga, for the way you talking about teaching them. If you got this powerful message, where the school at? You've been getting them donations for a long time now, my nigga. We, we need to see the product. Kevin Samuels ain't out here promising us nothing. That nigga giving game, people seeing results, and he, he telling people the facts. The game ain't for free, my nigga. You don't have to give people free game. They can choose to pay for the game if they want to or not. We got game for sale for niggas that's lame as hell. Free free that boy Greedo. 03 Greedo. Greedy. 03. You know what I'm saying? We got game for sale, nigga, for niggas that's lame as hell. So, understand. They getting sauce from Kevin Samuels. They paying for that sauce and that flavor and that information. But you, on the other hand, are saying you're going to provide an actual object for these donations. We ain't seen the school, my nigga. Where the fuck is the school? Now, what I just said ain't got nothing to do with Kevin Samuels. That's me, Big Ant, Urban Politics TV. I just got that question for the nigga. Now, nah, that's just me. Like, I seen y'all in here saying that the, the the ancestors don't want you to get the money this way. Y'all got to give in donations to the PayPal. Hey, my nigga, we'll support the school. I send a donation. You show me a school getting built. Hey, my nigga, I got you covered like makeup. I'm going to send some paper in to you, Jack. Let's get it popping. Now, the other thing with Kevin Samuels addressing the gay rumors. Bro hit this shit nail on the head when he said it. All factual. LGBTQ, I ain't gonna lie. But the, the voices, uh, I'm not gonna say the actual official uh, group, but the voices are the people that speak up for LGBTQ. Because I gotta be real responsible with this right here. We all know, bro, you never, you can't disrespect nobody gay right now. We know this. Kids know this in school. It's taught to them in cartoons. So why are women, especially black women, trying to call him that like he should be ashamed of it? That was what he put out on Vlad. Like, y'all saying this and that about me to, like, shame me in a way. Or make me feel down. Or, hey, man, you this, you that. Like, y'all name calling. But if anybody says anything out of line about somebody that is openly that way it's a problem now y'all trying to tear the platform down now dudes is look people is losing or do men or women who speak out in the wrong term against somebody that is homosexual they losing sponsors and shit so why are women attacking him or men attacking him saying he's that way and we ain't hearing nothing about it that's because y'all really don't care y'all fake care you know what i'm saying I don't have a problem with nobody gay at all. I got gay people in my family. Uh, I actually work in the rap game. And some people who work behind the scenes with the media shit, when I go do interviews, they are gay. Hey, we we, we have no issue at all. It's no point. You like who you want to like, love who you want to love. I don't, that's your personal business. But I get the messages Kevin Samuel was saying 100%, my nigga. That because y'all don't like the message he giving out and that shit cutting y'all women deep now. Is hitting y'all motherfucking soul. Y'all automatically jump to how can I disrespect this man? Can't call him broke. Can't call him this. Can't call him that. What what happens in the black community when women black women want to disrespect a man? Three things y'all gonna go with. The G A Y word. The broke word. The other word. Or the the whole nigga the B word. Da da da. da fake fake nigga or something like that that's what y'all go for every time that's what y'all try to tell a black man down with so hey man i personally don't give a fuck what kevin samuels is to be honest with you the message is clear and the message is factual dog got the information he got the data he got everything he needs to prove this shit and get it the fuck understood for y'all but y'all don't want to comb through the bullshit because y'all are sensitive like i said ain't nobody forcing y'all to tap in the dog channel Ain't nobody forcing y'all to donate money. Ain't nobody forcing y'all to pay attention to the message. But y'all know y'all really getting some good game when y'all go over there and listen. Niggas too, because we got a lot of niggas out here. And we've had to cover some of these niggas on the anti-simp segment of Urban Politicians TV. Because, I and I got to put out there too before I go on this video what a simp is. A simp is not a family man. A simp is not a man who likes a girl, has feelings for a girl. Or takes care of his family. That's not a simp. That's called a man. 
A nigga who takes a girl out on a date, that doesn't make you a simp, my nigga. Buying your woman nice gifts, that doesn't make you a simp. A simp is a nigga who woman runs him because he's too weak to uh, be in control of his own household. Uh, a nigga who lets his woman disrespect him. I'm seeing a lot of that shit going on in public now. A lot of women raising their voices at niggas. You know what I'm saying? I think Kevin Samuels, hey bro, Kevin Samuels ought to do a video on that. I'm pretty sure he has something in that vault because I don't have, I be making my own videos. I don't have time to look. We got to get some more respect in these households because the shit getting way the fuck out of hand with that. Uh, we, uh, and that, that's what a simp is, bro. A simp is not, oh, I got a girlfriend or I'm showing the emotion or show emotions or affection or I love my girl or I have a family. I take pictures with my girl or, hey, I express my feeling. you know, I show emotion to my girl. That's not a fucking simp, my nigga. A simp is a nigga who lets a bitch abuse him emotionally, physically, mentally, financially, I just seen some female right now talking about if a nigga bought her a motherfucking car, bought her a car, and put her in a condo, well, she had a nigga that put her in a car in a condo, and her name is Blue Jazz or something, Blue Jasmine, she said that her nigga bought her a bed in a condo, put her up, had her right, they decide to split. She feels that she should keep all of these items because he raised her up in his lifestyle, and she shouldn't have to give it back. Uh, no, that's not how that works. Now, if he just say, hey, you can keep it, I ain't tripping, that's cool. But you try to make it seem like, oh, I'm entitled to this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go back to my other lifestyle that you lifted me up to. Hell nah, you going back to that lifestyle, bitch, if, if we not together no more. What the fuck? Is you serious? Like, now, if I just choose to say, man, I ain't tripping on that shit, keep that shit. Take that as a gift. But she acted like it's obligation. No, sweetheart, that's not how this game works. And if a nigga, if a nigga rich, he might be like, you know what, I ain't petty, you can keep that shit, whatever. Me? Nah, you need to understand that I'm doing you a favor here. That's all I'm saying. So simps is not niggas who fuck with women, who are in love, who have a girlfriend, have a family that they committed to. Simps is the niggas who, hey, they partner got a bitch. They the niggas that go tell they partner, Bitch, oh, yeah, that nigga cheating on you because they really want the bitch. That's some player hating sim shit. That's a player hater, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, your gal cheated on you three times last year. You still running behind the hoe, praying, going to counseling with the bitch, trying to figure it out. That's a simp. A simp is not having, showing affection, laying up with a woman, hugging a woman. That's called being a man, nigga. We all want pussy. Just being honest. Subscribe to the channel. Urban Politician TV, most shit coming, man. 1,000, stay on your motherfucking pivot for shit show.